Welcome back to another fierce fishing video. I am here at another pretty wild brown and native brook trout stream here in Pennsylvania. There are bugs everywhere flying into my eyes and everything. So I'm trying not to talk too much because I just keep getting attacked by these bugs. But I've got a dry dropper on right now. Stuck on the bottom. But it's a royal wolf and a Frenchie. I'm going to get this GoPro on and start fishing. And then hopefully this time I don't lose that ski card like I did last time. But wish me luck. I'm going to see how I do. And let's hope this is a nice video. Alright, there we go. First little trout of the day. Super tiny. Little brown. On the uh, Frenchie. Okay guys, here is the first little wild brown trout of the day. Took the Frenchie, you can see right there, the corner of his mouth. Uh, this is super small trout, I'm hoping to get some bigger ones today. But nevertheless, super pretty, stunning fish. Let me unhook him and get him out of here. I'm not sure if you guys could see him in the water there, but he kind of jumped out of my hands before I wanted to release him. But a super nice, pretty little fish. Let's see if we can get some bigger. Okay, guys. Not the best hook up or land with that guy. Is this a brookie? Damn, I haven't caught one of these this low down before. I didn't think they were down here. Okay guys, here's the nice little brook trout I just caught. The lowest down on this creek I've ever caught one of these guys. He took the Frenchie. Let me unhook him and uh, explain how the day's been going. Okay guys, I didn't get it on recording, but I just got first nice trout of the day. Look at that brook trout. Such a pretty fish. Stunning colors on this one. Every single trout I catch here has stunning colors, but like, look at the yellows on that. Oh, almost dropped him in. I was trying to get an underwater release of this guy. But like, here, yeah, I was trying to show you guys. So I can get this guy's fin. Look at the colors on that top fin, the dorsal fin. And then look at those reds on his uh, underbelly. Such a pretty fish. He took the uh, Frenchie. All these fish are not taking the uh, Royal Wolf today or any dries for that matter. Let me get an underwater release with this guy and then keep talking. These fish have been taking that fly right there, the little size 18 Frenchie, and not many have been taking the Royal Wolf. But let's see if I can pull another one of those trout out of this hole. And I'll have the GoPro recording this time, just so if I get one, I can get the fight on video. But I'm trying to save battery, so let's see how we do. Let's go. Finally one on the dry fly. Right after I released that last one. Another not bad sized brook trout. But first one to actually take the uh, royal wolf today. I was thinking that was going to be all subsurface fish today. That's nice. Watching that fish take that fly. Okay guys, here's the third brook trout of the day today. And this one's the first fish to be landed on the dry fly today. He took the Royal Wolf. But another super stunning fish. Got him out of the very beginning of the hole right there. From right in front of that rock. But let me get an underwater release with this fish. Very cool looking fish. Dark colors on him just like every other trout here.
There we go. Nice. Oh. Okay. Well, I lost that guy, but you guys probably saw the uh, hook up on the other camera. I have it sitting right there. I'm trying to get a big one out of this hole. This is the hole where I hooked up with a lot of fish and one massive brook trout last time. I'm hoping that that fish is out here again and willing to eat again. If not, there should be plenty of other fish for me to catch out of this hole and further up, but there's this one big one that I know is in here and I'm trying to get a big colored up trout, so. Hopefully a big male. Let's see if I can get one. I'm seeing fish rising all over this hole. So, I'm feeling good. Let's see. There we go. That one's not a bad size. Get over here inside the net. Ooh, nice colors on this one. This is probably one of those colored up males I was just talking about. Let me get the second camera. I'm seeing tons of fish rising on dry flies in this hole. And this was one of them. Cast it to the general area. And I hooked up with this beautiful colored up trout. Look at those oranges at the bottom there. Such a stunning fish. Magnificent looking. Let me try to get a... Trying to hold him so I can show you guys his top fin colors. Okay, here's that beautiful trout. Let me get him out, him out of here with an underwater release. Buddy. Not the best release there. Kind of swam back for a second. Didn't notice he was released, got stuck under that rock, and then he just swam away. But, you know, he's still out of here, back in the water, living strong. Let's see if we can get a few more out of here. There we go. This one feels a bit better. Oh, forgot. Oh, that's a better trout. Got him in the net. Ooh, it's a nice size brook trout for this spot. It's a nice size brook trout for any spot, really. But the majority of them here are pretty small. I think this is the same trout that missed my fly like twice in a row. Came back for it one more time and got it. You know, this is a very nice trout. Let me show them to the camera. Would you guys look at that trout? This has been this has been a really good day for brook trout fishing ever since I got up past that one waterfall. Another one that just choked that royal wolf. Got him at the very beginning of this hole. I saw him rise for like a actual fly. So I cast my royal wolf down there. And he gladly took that the first time but missed it. Then I cast it back into the same hole, and he got it again, and actually it got hooked that time. But this is like a nice seven inch brook trout. And for this spot, that's really good, because I've been getting a majority of like fours, fives. I'm either gonna get, give this guy benefit of the doubt and say, it could be seven and a half. Okay. Here's that bigger native brook trout with really nice colors. Look at those blue halos with the red dots. Look at that yellow on that dorsal fin, right on that underbelly. Such a pretty trout. Let me get him out of here underwater. Really. Okay guys. I just got a little micro brookie. I'm not even gonna take the second camera out, out again. These ones have really nice colors on them though. These micro trout. Look at those oranges. Let's get them out of here. 
I'll swim upstream. There he goes. Ooh. Nice brookie. Oh, let's go. That one's definitely bigger than the one before. Let's go. That's a really nice brookie. Oh my God. Dude, that's a massive brook trout. Definitely my biggest from this spot. Probably my second biggest native ever. Most colored up big one I've ever caught though. The only other big colored up one I caught, or only other big one I caught wasn't really too colored. But damn, that is a nice looking fish. I need to take out the second camera. But there's a gunshot. Someone's hunting around. Scared me. <laughs> Here's this beautiful, big, probably eight, eight and a half inch brook trout I just caught. Look at those magnificent colors on the bottom. What a stunning fish all around. This is actually very beautiful male brook trout. You can tell by that little kite piece. Whoops, dropped my camera for a second. Good thing it's waterproof. Let me get him out of here underwater. Another little guy. <sighs> yeah, I don't even use the net or the go or the uh, Olympus top for either of these, and then for any of these smaller trout. This one's probably the least vibrant one of the day, but still magnificent fish. There he goes. This isn't a bad sized trout. I watched this guy come out of his hole to eat the nymph. Tried to run back in with it. It's a pretty little trout. I'm gonna take a picture of him. Okay, unhook him. Very nice looking fish. There he goes. Okay guys, I'm leaving the creek right now. Um, had a really good day up here once I passed that waterfall that you guys can see over there in the distance. But yeah, there's the bottom section of the creek. I didn't do too well down here earlier today, so I'm not gonna try it again. But I just wanted to talk before this video is over. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna continue this video. If I go for some uh, wild or native trout tomorrow again, I'll continue this video, but if not, I think I'm planning on going for some stalkers. I'm just gonna make a separate video. But today I was fishing with my uh, Orvis Bang Kill 1. Uh, reel with three weight Orvis trout line on it. Um, I just threw a little bugger on because I was trying to see if anyone would take it, but they didn't. But um, I have the uh, this loads focus. Uh, come on, camera. Hey, whatever. I have this Sage, Sage Launch three weight. Um, it's a really nice rod. My dad had it before me passed it down to me and it's been serving me well but yeah I've got to hike out of this creek now I've never seen this side creek before I wonder if there's any trout out of it but um in it I don't know what I'm saying I'm tired after hiking all day I've got a long hike back ahead of me also I don't even got real wading boots I'm just using old boots that I have but I'll see you guys in the next video or if this video continues you probably won't. I think I'm just going to end it here either way, make a shorter video. But yeah, I'll see you guys next time.